it's, it's a desperately sad story what happened to you and your brother in the court. I mean, I'm not trying to lay it on. I'm just simply, it's a fact yeah. that you and your brother were in court for, were you stealing something or something like that? We were, we, were, uh, we were compulsive stealers. And how old were you when you ended up in court? I was, I was, I was in care. I was taken into care when I was 10 years old and we were in court. But it was probably, I'd probably been in court once before or twice before anyway. Yes. And um, this was the time when, um, on, the de- on the particular day, it was yes. my brother's birthday, and uh, we thought we were just getting another morning off school, you know, to go and sit before the beak. And then uh, my parents were taken out of one door and we were taken out of the other. And then when we were taken to the social services office, Stephen was taken out of one door and I was taken out of another and didn't see him for, a, for ten years. And you were what age? I was ten years old. Yeah. So I'd already got into drama school the next time I saw him. It's quite ruthless just, just, to, just to deal with that moment that, t- that you as a ten-year-old. Mm. It, it, there's something very... Callous about that separation. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you know, if anyone's got children and they know their own ten-year-old, yes. uh, the idea that you're probably not going to see that child and or that it's being taken away from you. In other words, the governance of that life is yeah. being taken away from you mm. as a parent or as a, as a sibling, or whatever, is, a, is an awful, awful prospect. The weird thing about living it is that we're very <clears throat> children are very strong and very powerful mm. and. Um, um, you know, um, I don't know whether it's to do with me or to do with other children or whatever, but that, that rip, that, that tearing apart never really heals. But um, children are very good at getting over things very yes. quickly. You, you, you learn to adapt extremely quickly. Sometimes I wonder, does it come back to haunt the adult more than it ever bothers the child? I, I would imagine it would, actually, uh, uh, um, because I could not imagine that happening to my son. You precisely. Know, and, uh, and I would never have let it happen. And maybe that but, makes but, you think about it a bit but, more. Yeah, but there's, there's, there's also a thing, is, uh, who, do I blame anyone for this? And no, I don't. Yes. I don't blame my parents, um, because whilst they were lovely people, they were crap parents. Yeah. You were know? they Irish? They were Irish, both of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know... That's a fact I've, of life, that's what happened. I, I have wonderful relatives in Ireland now. My mum's brother, Mick, and my auntie May. Uh, you they're know, watching God tonight. Them. They're yes. watching Say tonight. hello. And they're, you know, really been supportive yeah. and wonderful to me over but the good years. good people, bad parents. Good people, bad parents. And, um... <laughs>